हेलो स्वतंत्र टीवी व्यूअर्स आई एम महिमा वेलकमिंग यू टू आर इंग्लिश बुलेटिन विद लेटेस्ट न्यूज अपडेट्स एंड एनालिसिस विद द इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया अनाउंसिंग द इलेक्शन स्केड्यूल फॉर तेलंगाना एंड फोर अदर स्टेट्स ऑन मंडे आफ्टरनून द मॉडल ऑफ कोड ऑफ कॉन्डक्ट एमसीसी केम इन टू इफेक्ट इमीडिएटली Apart from political parties and candidates contesting the elections there are a few guidelines that need to be followed by the general public as well Chief Electoral Officer Vikas Raj while addressing a press conference in Hyderabad on Monday evening said people carrying cash should carry relevant documents along with them as the model code of conduct was in vogue The committees would check the documents produced by the persons and clear them accordingly This apart A software was also being put in place so that people inform the officials in advance based on which they would be issued some authorization. Carrying the authorization letter, the persons or party can carry the cash. If the flying squads and other teams stop the persons or party for checking, they would have to cooperate. People would have to disclose the details of the bank accounts from where the money was drawn and where it was being taken to. If the flying squads or other teams get convinced they were entitled to release the people immediately the chief electoral officer said instructions issued in this regard from time to time should be read and understood by the political parties and the contesting candidates and their agents and representatives so that they have proper understanding of what exactly the model code of conduct means we will of course be releasing the the uh, compendium for uh, uh, model code of conduct uh, and uh, concerned instructions we will be releasing that to you also so you can also through you uh, they can political parties can also have a look at them no loud speaker either static or vehicle mounted shall be permitted at night between 10 pm and 6 am 1950 number on which any complaints can be made it will become operational 24 by 7 from today onwards it is already operational during the office hours till today now it will become operational 24 hours any complaint can be made by anybody on that union home minister amit shah on tuesday has accused chief minister k chandrashekhar rao of making telangana number 1 in farmer suicides and corruption across the country during his 10 year rule telangana ko आज के जमाने के रजाकारों से बचा नहीं सकते तेलंगाना को आज के जमानों के रजाकार से अगर कोई बचा सकता है तो केवल और केवल भारतीय जनता पार्टी बचा सकती है मित्रों एक के सी आर तेलंगाना में हमेशा एक खोखला प्रचार करते हैं मैंने के सी आर को सुना है कि मैंने तेलंगाना को नंबर वन बना दिया हा भैया सच बात है के सी आर बाबू आपने तेलंगाना को नंबर वन बना दिया मगर किस चीज में रोजगारी में ना जी घर में पानी पहुंचाने में ना जी नौकरियां देने में ना जी किसानों की आत्महत्या के बारे में तेलंगाना आज देश में नंबर वन बन चुका है मित्रों नंबर वन के सी आर डिड नॉट वर्क फॉर द पुअर फार्मर्स और टियावन बी आईलिस बट ओनली टूवर्ड्स मेकिंग इज सन के टी रामा राव एज द चीफ मिनिस्टर नॉट अ सिंगल प्रोमिस हैज बीन फुलफिल्ड एज ही वर्क ओनली फॉर हिज फैमिली अमित शाह चार्ज एट अ पब्लिक मीटिंग इन आदिलाबाद उन्होंने एक ही काम किया दस साल में के टी आर को मुख्यमंत्री कैसे बनाया जाए इसकी चिंता का काम किया है ये जो मुख्यमंत्री है उनका एक ही लक्ष्य है अपने बेटे के टी आर को मुख्यमंत्री बनाना एड्रेसिंग द फर्स्ट इलेक्शन मीटिंग ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द पार्टी आफ्टर द डेट्स फॉर तेलंगाना असेंबली इलेक्शन फॉर अनाउंस्ड मिस्टर शाह सेट के सी आर हैड फेल्ड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट बेडरूम हाउसेज फॉर द पुअर Give three acres to the Dalits, and Dalit Bandhu financial assistance of ten lakh rupees has been confined to a few party loyalists. Everyone was also aware that the steering wheel of BRS government was in the hands of the Majlis leaders. He claimed, "उनका चुनाव चिन्हल जो है ना वो गाड़ी है. 
एम्बेसडर गाड़ी है मगर एम्बेसडर गाड़ी कौन चलाता है कौन चलाता है जोर से बोलो कौन चलाता है उनकी गाड़ी का स्टीयरिंग ओवेसी के पास है उनके पास नहीं है आप ऐसा चाहते हो कि मजलिस के इशारे पर तेलंगाना चले जरा जोर से बोलो चाहते हो क्या ये मजलिस के इशारे पर चलने वाली सरकार है यूनियन होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह मेट ऑन ट्यूसडे मोर देन 2000 थाउजेंड प्रोफेशनल टेचीज एकेडमिक्स रिटायर्ड गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल एंड अदर्स इन हैदराबाद दिस मीटिंग वॉज हेल्ड एज पार्ट ऑफ बीजेपीज आउटरीच प्रोग्राम ड्यूरिंग इज विजिट टू द स्टेट दिस मैसिव आउटरीच प्रोग्राम वॉज हेल्ड इन द सिटी लेटर इन द इवनिंग आफ्टर शाह पब्लिक मीटिंग इन आदिलाबाद ऑन ट्यूजडे आफ्टरनून अर्लियर मोर देन टू थाउजेंड पीपल रिसीव डिजिटल इन्विटेशन टू अटेंड द प्रोग्राम विद शाह Chief Minister Y S Jagan Mohan Reddy will launch a slew of initiatives in Port City Visakhapatnam on 16th October. Chief Minister Jagan will launch a 100 crore rupees program to modernize the skill development and training institutes across the state. The CM will also issue job offer letters to persons trained in various skills and witness the signing of memoranda of understanding with major industries that will play a leading role in skill development activities. The industries will partner with the state to build the latest skill infrastructure on a mission mode in tune with the developing trends. Prime among the initiatives will be the launch of Skill Universe, a web portal and mobile application that will be a one-stop solution for all skill D. The long wait is over for more than 5 lakh beneficiaries across Andhra Pradesh as a mega house warming ceremony will be held on 12th October in a grand way. Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy will personally participate at Peddapuram Assembly Constituency of Samralkota in Kakinara district. The State Housing Corporation has achieved the target of completing the construction of 5 lakhs houses by August under the state government flagship program Navratnalu Pedlandariki Illu. Peddapuram constituency in charge Davuluri Dorbabu chairman Andhra Pradesh State Housing Corporation is monitoring the arrangements for CM Jagan to launch the mega house warming ceremony in the constituency Simultaneously house warming event will be held at all the districts across Andhra Pradesh in selected layouts where the concerned ministers public representatives district officials will attend the event and the beneficiaries along with their family members will take part in the mega housing warming ceremony Telangana Chief Minister K Chandrasekhar Rao's wife Shobha Rao offered prayers at the famous Tirumal Temple on Tuesday. Her visit to the temple comes amid reports of Chief Minister KCR's ill health. After reaching Tirupati by a special flight from Hyderabad, Shobha along with some family members had a darshan this morning. She participated in Archana Seva and also tonsured her head as part of the worship rituals at the hill shrine. KCR who is aiming for a hat trick as the chief minister is scheduled to launch the Bharat Rashtra Samiti BRS election campaign on 15th October and would launch the election manifesto the same day The party has also announced a series of public meetings to be addressed by KCR the BRS chief who will be contesting from two assembly seats Gajvel and Kamareddy plans to file nominations on 9th November Elections for 119 member assembly are scheduled to be held on 30th November. The hearing in the Supreme Court on the quash petition filed by TDP chief Chandrababu Naidu in the Skill Development Corporation scam case has been postponed to Friday 13th October afternoon by the two bench judge Senior Supreme Court advocate Harish Salve on behalf of Chandrababu Naidu and Mukul Rohtagi on behalf of CID presented their arguments. Harish Salve argued on behalf of Chandrababu saying that the investigating agency violated 17 a section while arresting Naidu. In return Rohtagi said that 17 is not for protecting corrupt people and to protect honest people and said that 17 a does not apply to Chandrababu. 
He further said that investigation was stalled before 2018. However, a memo was filed in May 2018 with adequate details and said that all the documents related to the memo are before the bench. Telugu Desam Party General Secretary Nara Lokesh on Tuesday appeared before the Crime Investigation Department (CID) for questioning in the Amravati Inner Ring Road alignment case. Lokesh reached the CID office at Tadipalli before 10 a.m. The CID officials questioned him till evening. The CID had filed a memo in Vijayawada ACB court on 26 September, naming Lokesh as the 14th accused in the case. The CID has already named former CM Chandra Babu Naidu as an accused in the Amravati Inner Ring Road case and AP Fibonet case. In May 2022. The CID had registered an FIR against Chandra Babu Naidu, former Municipal Administration Minister Dr. P. Narayana, Heritage Foods Ltd., and others for alleged irregularities in the construction of an internal ring road in Amravati. Donga FIR lo, donga accused dilga jerchi. E rozu prajal lo kela kunda kal ya panjastundi e prabuttam rape ne kunchu busy ko na nu yevna prashna adgalante. అన్ని ప్రశ్నలు నేను సమాధానం చెప్తానంటే లేదు మళ్ళీ రేపు మీరు పొద్దున పదింటికి రాండని ఏం తప్పు చేయనప్పుడు ఎందుకు భయపడాలి బ్రదర్ ఏం తప్పు చేయాలా అడిగిన ప్రతి ప్రశ్నకి నేను సమాధానం చెప్పాను నిరుద్యోగ యువతి యువకులకు ఉద్యోగాలు కల్పించండి అని అడిగినందుకు చంద్రబాబు నాయుడు గారిని జ్యుడిషియల్ రిమాండ్ పంపించారు సామాన్య ప్రజలు ఎవరైతే ఈ ప్రభుత్వం వ్యతిరేకంగా ఒక పోస్ట్ పెట్టినా ట్వీట్ పెట్టినా వాళ్ళకి వాళ్ళపైన దొంగ కేసులు ఎందుకు పెడుతున్నారు అడిగినందుకు జ్యుడిషియల్ రిమాండ్కి పంపించారు సో ఈ ప్రభుత్వ వ్యతిరేకంగా ఎవరు మాట్లాడినా ఎవరు పోరా పోరాడినా పాదయాత్ర చేసినా వాళ్ళపైన దొంగ కేసులు పెట్టి ఎక్యూజ్గా చేర్చి ఎలాంటి ఆధారాలు లేకపోయినా ఈరోజు మమ్మల్ని ఇట్లా పిలుస్తారు ఒక రోజంతా వేస్ట్ చేస్తారు తెలంగాణ ఆర్టీసీ ఇస్ మేకింగ్ ఎలాబరేట్ అరేంజ్మెంట్స్ ఫర్ బతుకమ్మ అండ్ దిస్రా టు మీట్ రష్ ఆఫ్ ట్రావెలర్స్ ది ఆర్టీసీ హ్యాస్ అరేంజ్ ఫైవ్ థౌజండ్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ సిక్స్టీ ఫైవ్ స్పెషల్ బసెస్ బిట్వీన్ అక్టోబర్ థర్టీన్త్ అండ్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్త్ అథారిటీస్ సెడ్ ఇన్ అ స్టేట్మెంట్ TSRTC Managing Director, V.C. Sajjanar, addressed a coordination meeting with police and transport department officials in Hyderabad. All necessary arrangements are being made so that passengers travelling to their hometowns during the festival do not face any difficulties. The RTC has also provided advance reservation facility for 536 services and special buses will operate from Hyderabad and Sikandarabad to all parts of Telangana and neighbouring states. For more information citizens can call on TSRTC call centers The makers of Yatra to have unveiled the first look at their principal character posters while Malayalam superstar Mamuti will be seen as Vyas Rajshekhar Reddy Bollywood star Jeeva will portray the role of Vyas Jagan Yatra and Yatra to are about a father's and a son's stories Yatra was about how late former Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Vyas Rajshekhar Reddy inspired people with his walkathon. Yatra too is set in a time period from 2009 to 2019 and shows the rise of Vyas Jagan as a leader in the state. The film's shooting is currently in progress. Produced by Shiva Maker in association with Three Autumn Leaves and We Celluloid, Yatra too will release on 8th February 2024. The same day Yatra released 5 years ago in 2019 Madhi is the cameraman and Santosh Narayanan is composing the music Namaste babu namaste kaya namaste telapa namaste namaste నేనెవరో ఈ ప్రపంచానికి ఇంకా తెలియకపోవచ్చు కానీ ఒక్కటి గుర్తు పెట్టుకోండి నేను వైఎస్ రాజశేఖర రెడ్డి కొడుకుని నేను విన్నాను నేనున్నాను 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi assured Israel Prime Minister Mr Netanyahu that India stands with Israel in this difficult hour. He also underscored that India strongly and unequivocally condemns terrorism in all its forms. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Tuesday called PM Modi and gave him an update on the deadly conflict between Israel and Hamas which has killed over 1600 people so far. I thank Prime Minister at Netanyahu for his phone call and providing an update on the ongoing situation. People of India stand firmly with Israel in this difficult hour. India strongly and unequivocally condemns terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. PM Modi posted on X, formerly Twitter. The call between PM Modi and his Israeli counterpart comes at a time when the US, UK, Germany and France issued a joint statement expressing their steadfast support for Israel and unequivocally condemning Hamas and its acts of terrorism the conversation is all the more significant because palestines envoy to india has said that india is a friend of both israel and palestine and must step in to help resolve the crisis The United Nations on Tuesday said that nearly 2 lakhs people or nearly a tenth of the population have fled their homes in Gaza since the start of the war between Israel and the Hamas group and are poised for shortages of water and electricity due to a blockade. Israel on Tuesday continued to pound Hamas targets in Gaza and said the bodies of 1500 terrorists were found in southern towns recaptured by the army near the Palestinian enclave. The death count in Israel has surged above 900. while Gaza officials have reported 687 people killed so far Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to turn Hamas controlled areas to rubble raising concern from the United Nations over possible humanitarian law violations Israel says Hamas gunmen have killed more than 900 people and wounded over 2000 in Israeli cities towns and kibbutz communities on the Gaza side Health officials said at least 687 people had been killed and more than 2900 wounded. My utter condemnation of the abhorrent attacks by Hamas and others against Israeli towns and villages in the Gaza periphery which have left over 800 Israelis dead and more than 2500 injured. Sadly, these numbers are expected to rise as the attacks are ongoing and many remain unaccounted for. In addition, over 100 possibly more Israelis, civilians and military have been reported captured by armed groups including women, children and the elderly. Some are being held hostage inside Israel and many others have been taken inside the Gaza Strip. Meanwhile, Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad have launched thousands of indiscriminate rockets that have reached central Israel including Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. I recognize the legitimate grievances of the Palestinian people. But nothing can justify these acts of terror and the killing, maiming and the abduction of civilians. I reiterate my call to immediately cease these attacks and release all hostages. In the face of these unprecedented attacks, Israeli airstrikes have pounded Gaza. I'm deeply alarmed by reports of over 500 Palestinians including women and children killed in Gaza and over 3000 injured. Unfortunately, these numbers are rising by the minute as Israeli operations continue. While I recognize Israel's legitimate security concerns, I also remind Israel that military operations must be conducted in strict accordance with international humanitarian law. Civilians must be respected and protected at all times. Civilian infrastructure must never be a target. Thank you for watching Swatantra TV English Bulletin. For a complete and comprehensive English news bulletin, please do watch Swatantra TV. This is Mahima signing off. Keep watching Swatantra TV.